Hi everybody, this is a quick video on how to put together a foundationless frame using a normal average um, wedge top frame. This one comes from Man Lake. They use a thicker bottom lately. Anyway, so after you've assembled your frame, like such, you can see my other videos on how to use a frame jig or uh, like especially, I like to use Tight Bond 3 glue. So that's our first ingredient or tool. Um, and I like to use my quarter inch narrow crown stapler to put those together. But you can see that in another video. So assuming you've already got your frame done, I'm going to just pop out the wedge and then I'm going to use a regular old box knife and I'm going to make sure to clear off the flashing from the frame, which in this frame is fairly easy. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to do the same thing on the I can do it kind of like sharpening a pencil. Works pretty well. Hadn't tried that before. Just take off this little flash part, the last part that was holding it on there before we started. Uh, next tool we're going to use after the glue is a regular old heavy duty staple gun and it's got 9 16 inch staples in it. That's about as deep as you can get before popping out the side. I like to use as much uh, fastener as I can in these situations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to run a little bead of glue along the edge of the frame. Not too much because you don't want it globbing around all over the place. Alright. Now I'm going to stick the wedge in there. Uh, as good a way as it'll go, I guess. So I'm going to try and smash that glue. Get a nice good bond in there. Then I'm going to staple it. And really, the only reason to staple it with this type of glue is just to hold it together so that the glue can dry. And then we'll just give it a couple more so they get a nice good bond on the glue. And we're good to go. I like to you see you can I uh, don't know if you can see that but the um, the glue has squished out along the edges just barely that's really good that shows us we've got a nice spread of glue on there you can look and see on the frame that the uh, the wedge is almost right in the center of the end bar it lines up pretty well with the holes which we're not using in this case. And then for myself, I like to mark that it's a foundationless frame and mark it for what direction it's facing. And that is it. Now the easiest way to get this drawn is to put it between two other frames of drawn comb. Um, also usually works if you put it between two frames of foundation. That works too. Uh, if I were starting this over from the beginning, I wouldn't have put eyelets in it, but they only cost a few cents a piece. So there you go. That is a foundationless frame. One of the quickest ways you can put them together. Uh, another way you can do, just for fun, I'll show you here, is using craft sticks. So one of, the, one of the ways I've been playing with lately, I'm not going to tell you which way works best on these because I haven't done a whole lot of playing around with them, but using craft sticks in there and then you can either glue those in or I've also been using wax to glue them in just to see how well that works. But um, that makes a good comb guide for your frame. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Have fun keeping bees, because if you're not having fun, you probably should be doing something else. <laughs>